Yo, what, what, what up? It's Razor Pop la. English rock band Keen are in Singapore in support of their latest album, Perfect Symmetry. The trio, known for being a rock band without a guitar, sat down with members of the press and talked candidly about their evolving sound. With the release of their third album, Perfect Symmetry, the band had changed their look and sound, and surprisingly employing the use of guitars in their songs. Let's hear what the band has to say about this. I think um, you, you kind of get uh, pigeonholed when you first sort of arrive on the scene as a band, especially because the way it happened for us, we kind of had years and years and years of nothing, and then suddenly it was this huge album. Um, and I suppose everyone kind of defined us based on, on hearing that one record. But I think... Um, you know, you look at the kind of history of Keen and you look at the way that we kind of came together as friends and as a band. Um, it was based on a kind of love of, of things that, you know, of, of kind of evolving and changing. So it's, it's sort of innate in us that we, um, that we want to do that. I suppose we, the first band that we all kind of fell in love with together and, and wanted to kind of copy and emulate and um, read about and... Um, become completely engrossed in was the Beatles and looking through their history and their records you know they just they just changed every time every record was something fresh and something new um, and they and they really felt that they, they just had the ambition to to um, to stop at nothing and to try try anything to make great music um, and then you know people like Bowie and Radiohead and U2 and um, great artists like that I think have really inspired us along the way as well um, and again just purely based on, I think on that on that ability to change, so it, it it was less of a surprise for us than it was for other people, I suppose that that we progressed with under the INC into a, in a kind of much darker place and um, started to mess around with the kind of simple elements that we had uh, in Keen, you know, which was the piano, voice, and drums, and and that was that album was really about kind of pushing all of the elements that we were using on hopes and fears in, in very kind of strange directions. And then this album was kind of about <laughs> throwing all of that, 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 that rule book out of the window and just, and starting again completely. And, um, so guitars and, and drums and uh, in, going in very different ways and lots of percussion, lots of harmonies and backing vocals and different styles of production, as Richard was saying, and, and different styles, um, of songwriting, you know, I think the songs are structurally quite different, and uh, and so yeah, everything I think just keeps changing for us. Um, and I hope that we we get seen in, in the same light as as bands like the Beatles and Radiohead, and you know, hopefully one day we'll be considered to be as good as them. But um, for the time being, I think it'd be great if people just saw us as as this, as this thing that uh, that that keeps changing and keeps doing something surprising and interesting. Um, that, that for us would be a great achievement. The boys from Keen also explained the reason behind releasing the song Spiraling as the first single in Singapore, while everywhere else in the world, the first physical single to be released was The Lovers Are Losing. I think it, it was the song that we, in the studio, we, we kind of um, felt most excited about, and and probably by extension, we then finished it before everything else. So we had uh, we had this song, and it it's obviously sounds very different to to anything that we'd done before um so we had this kind of b burning desire to just get it out there and um you know we hadn't even finished mixing the record but this one song was there it was ready to go so we chucked it up on the on the website and uh, it turned into this kind of phenomenon we, d we just did not expect um and you know hundreds of th hundreds of thousands of people around the world were downloading it um it's suddenly all over the radio and we, we were really kind of unprepared for that reaction to it um so I guess uh, people have just gone with the flow um, here in Singapore and um, made spiralling what it is. Check out the next part as the boys from Keen give an insight on producing their latest album in Berlin and how they will combat Singapore's hot weather.